Hi, I'm Hannah Bernard. You're watching Market One Minute, and I'm here today with Tim Fernback of Lico Energy Metals. Tim, you are a unique company in that you're exploring for two metals, lithium and cobalt. Tell us why. We are very bullish on the future for both of those commodities, specifically to do with the fact that they are important elements within the lithium ion battery, mm -hmm. as we all know. It's a critical um, battery for electric vehicles and other important uses like laptops and mm -hmm. uh, cell phones. Correct. So let's talk about your properties. You're, you're exploring in some very mining friendly jurisdictions. So walk us through your properties, where they are and why you chose to explore there. Sure, we have um, in our lithium portfolio, we have properties in Nevada, which is the only uh, producing region in North America for lithium. Um, so we fought, mm -hmm. feel that that's a, a pretty good location for us. And Nevada itself is a very favorable mining jurisdiction. Uh, for lithium, we have an uh, area in the most prolific zone for lithium brine production in the world. Mm. It's in the Salar of Atacama in Chile. We're one of four uh, companies within the Salar. Two of those companies are major lithium producers, producing 37% of the world's lithium. So we feel we're in the great location mm. to find a, a resource there. And then we have a cobalt uh, set of cobalt claims in Ontario, mm -hmm. which Ontario is a, and again, the Mining Journal came out with a, a study recently that it's the second most favorable jurisdiction in the world for mining. So we feel that uh, having our properties there in a, a really good mining environment with really good uh, historic results is a positive for our resource as well. So let's talk about those properties. Can you give us an overview of the Cobalt Exploration Program in Ontario? Sure. We're currently finishing up the drilling on our uh, Teledyne and Glencore properties. Mm -hmm. There are uh, 12 mining claims that are side by side. Uh, we recently acquired a property from Glencore, which um, has been uh, historically drilled in uh, 1980. And we feel that the uh, combination of those two properties, we can generate an in-situ resource for uh, further partnership with Glencore. So we've uh, had 32 holes uh, drilled and about uh, just under 4,000 meters of drilling. And we're starting to get results from the assay labs right now. And has the exploration gone as planned? And what, what's been kind of the outcome that's been determined? Uh, it's gone actually exactly as planned. So we're, we're, um, we're proving up the historic resource that we know is on the property. And we're finding uh, cobalt camp style mineralization in all of the drill holes that we've uh, drilled so far. Mm -hmm. And we also have got uh, great results for uh, cobalt, uh, as high as like 7.5% mm -hmm. uh, of cobalt in, in the drill core. And what can investors look forward to coming down the line? What are next steps for the company and what's coming in 2018? 2018 will be a larger drill program on our Teledyne and Glencore cobalt okay. properties. Uh, we will also um, start the uh, continued exploration of our Nevada properties in lithium mm -hmm. and also the uh, lithium property in Chile. We look to add additional properties in both cobalt and lithium into our portfolio as well. Tim, you have an investor audience here. Tell them why they should invest in Lico Energy Metals. I think that we're extremely undervalued uh, right now as a company, and I think that uh, we have properties that are in the greatest areas for finding a resource, mm -hmm. um, both in Chile, Nevada, and in Ontario. And we have uh, properties that are both um, structured in cobalt and lithium, so we are a true energy metal company. Well, it sounds like you're positioned in the right space. Thank you so much for being with us, Tim. Thank you.